So while we have been just using the console really to be able to do all of our code, I'm actually gonna move into using a file system. So basically once we run our code down here, it's gone, guess you can access it with the keys, but it's pretty much gone. You basically have to have that variable saved versus when you run it in here, your code is still an actual file. You can save it and come back to it. You can access it again as you need. So we can do the same types of things in here. So we could run in row df1 and we can just hit run. And what we do is in the console, it's going to print it out. So we're still gonna get our responses in the console, but our actual code still lives up here. We can also do in row and in call df1 and we can run that. So you can see it just ran in call. If I highlight all of it, you can see it ran in row and in call together. So that's the way to get your entire thing to actually run. And we can still do things like saving a variable. So let's say a equals six, and we're gonna run that. And so what we get is a is equal to six, and you see that that value appears up here. So things that you're, you don't really need to save, you just need to access, that's completely fine to do in the console. If you're just trying to figure out how long your data frame is, you can do that in the console. If you just wanna see what your data looks like, you can do that in the console. But the bulk of your actual data analysis, you want to do within a file system so that you can come back to it, change it as you need it, you have that code saved for later, and it's just a much better way of actually keeping up with your code than doing everything within the console itself.